Now if I want to go ahead and add a chart title to my chart, or I've got one that's been added because it depends upon the data that you select in your database when you go ahead and create your chart, and in this case it added the uh, chart title budget. If I have it and I want to make a change to it or delete it, to make the change just go ahead and select it, then triple click within it to select the text within, and then just go ahead and simply type over it. Then when you're finished, of course, click off in a blank area. And then if you want to remove it altogether, go ahead and select it and either hit the delete key, let me go ahead and undo it, or come up here on the layout tab, go to the uh, labels group, click on the chart title. Of course, this is where you can insert a chart title, but you can also say that you don't want one to be displayed and it disappears. Let me go to worksheet one here and select this chart that doesn't have a chart title and insert one. Come up here again on the uh, layout tab, go to the labels group, click on chart title. We can do centered overlay which means it's going to be up at the top of the chart but over the chart or we can say we want it above the chart and then go ahead and triple click really fast or click and drag to select the title and then just type over it. Now not only can you have a title for your entire chart and what the chart is all about but you can also have titles for your value Y axis and your category X axis. For example if I didn't have dollar signs I could say that the numbers here represent dollars or if it's in larger increments like this represents thousands of dollars, maybe like 400,000. In any case, to go ahead and add a label, come back up here to the labels group, click on the access titles. We have our chart title, but now we have our access titles. Click on that, and we want it for the vertical Y axis, the value. Go down and say, well, how do you want it displayed? I don't know if you can see this, but the little preview there shows how, in orange, it's going to be laid out vertically there, vertically down there, and then, of course, horizontally. Let's go ahead and do vertically down. Then go ahead and triple click within it really fast. It's going to be odd when it comes to selecting because your I-beam is now horizontal. But in any case, if you triple click, just go ahead and type in the label for the values over here saying, oh, this represents thousands of dollars. So when we have 600, it's actually 600,000. In any case, when I'm done, click off in a blank area. And then, of course, for the category X axis, I mean, if this isn't obvious enough that we're looking at months, you can go ahead and access titles to the horizontal access and say we want it below, and then go ahead and triple click and say you're looking at months, and then click off in a blank area. And then of course to get rid of them, go ahead and select it, hit the delete key on the keyboard, or come back up here to access titles, in this case to the horizontal access that we still have available there on the chart and say that we don't want one. As a side note, for your chart titles, you can have it equal another cell. In other words, go ahead and select the border of it, and then hit the equals key on the keyboard. You can see up here in the formula bar, it didn't overwrite or delete the title, but you can see that the action is being performed up in the formula bar. Then go ahead and select another cell. For example, books. Hit enter, it updates there. So if I go ahead and change this and say you're no longer books, you're movies, and hit enter, automatically updates the data here on the chart, the chart title. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.